Hey there, this is Karoy, and in this quick iOS tutorial I want to show you how to add a clear button to a UI text view. This is a useful feature that can make your app easier to use. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to start this app, and what we've got here is a UI text view. Now, if you want to clear the contents, we could do it by moving the cursor to the end of the text and pressing the delete button. A better way to get rid of all this text requires us to long press within the text view, like this, tap select all, and then press the delete button. Wouldn't it be great to have a clear button that simply clears our text view? Well, that's exactly what we're going to implement in this tutorial. Alright, let's add the missing functionality. As you may know, unlike the UI text field, the UI text view doesn't come with a clear button. I'm going to show you both controls in a moment. So, let's open up Xcode. We create a new Xcode project, a single view iOS app, and I call it Text View Clear Button Demo. Let's create it on the desktop. So, what we've got here is an app template with an empty storyboard and a view controller. Let's select the storyboard. I'm going to add two controls. First, I add a UI text field. Let's drag this guy over here. And I'm going to arrange it a bit. And next, I add a UI text view. Let's put it beneath the UI text field. Now, I add some constraints. And I let Xcode do add the missing constraints. Same for the text view. And we're good to go now. I select the UI text field and click the Attributes Inspector. There is a setting for the clear button, which is set to never appears. By clicking the value, we get a drop-down. I pick appears while editing. Now let's run the app. So here's what we get. This is our UI text field, and if I start typing, the clear button is going to appear. Alright, we see it here, and if I press it, the content is cleared. Alright, now back to Xcode, I'm going to stop the demo, and let's select the UI text view. As we know, the clear button is missing, we don't have such a setting for the UI text view. So, let's add the missing functionality. I've prepared an image that will serve as the background image for our button. Let's show the tab bar so I can select the assets. And now I'm going to drag the clear image here. Let's maximize our Xcode window back. In the Attributes Inspector, I set its scale to single scale. That works well since we've got a resolution independent vector image. Now, I have to switch back to the main storyboard. I drag a UI button into the UI text view. So let's choose button and drag it into the text view. Now let's set the button's constraints. And also its position. Let me make some space, and now if I magnify our button, we can see it. We don't need the text, 
although we could provide a text but instead I'm gonna use our clear image and now comes the interesting part I activate the assistant editor and with the view controller selected we should see its source if that's not the case just click on the leftmost icon in the title bar and select automatic and viewcontroller.swift Next, I'm gonna create the button's reference outlet and the action triggered when the button is tapped. So let's go back to the storyboard and select the button. I click Connections Inspector in the Utility pane. First, we'll create the outlet by dragging from New Referencing Outlet into the View Controller source file. Let's call it clear button. Then I create an action for touch up inside in the view controller. Select touch up inside and drag it here. Let's call it on clear pressed. We'll also need a referencing outlet for the UI text view. We could drag from the new referencing outlet to the view controller, but I'll show you a different way to do it. So Let's select the text view in the storyboard. I'm going to hide this panel so that you can see it. And with the text view selected, I press Ctrl and drag with my mouse into the view controller source to create the outlet. Let's call it simply text view. Now it's time to do some coding. First, let me switch here to the view controller source file and I'm gonna hide these panels so that we can see what I'm doing. First we implement the onclear pressed action. This method should clear the text view from its content and we can achieve that by setting the text view's text property to an empty string. Note that we can't set this property to nil. Also, I disable the clear button by setting its is enabled property to false. That will clear the text view, so let's test it. Let's see what happens. Great, it works as expected. However, after typing in some text, the button remains dimmed. It is actually disabled, so it became non-functional. We can't use it anymore. So let's go back to Xcode and fix this. To re-enable the clear button, we need to make sure that we get notified when the text view is not empty. For this, we need to implement the text view did change UI text view delegate method. Before we do that, we should set the text views delegate. So let's go back to the main storyboard and set the text views delegate to our view controller. I can do that from the Connections Inspector by dragging the Delegate Outlet to the View Controller. And now let's implement the UI Text View Delegate. Now to keep our View Controller clean, I add an extension to implement the UI Text View Delegate. Let's scroll to the button and I'm going to create an extension. And let's implement the text view did change method. The clear button should get enabled if the text view's text value is not empty. That's quite easy, so we just say clear button dot is enabled equals not text view dot text dot is empty which practically means that if the text view has some content, has some text, then our button will be enabled. And if it's empty, then the button will be disabled. Now let's run the app. Tapping the clear button removes the content. If I type some text, the button gets enabled again. And it works as expected. 
So that's it. We got a functional clear button that works with the UI text view. Don't forget to press like if you enjoyed this video and also hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. You may want to check my courses on Udemy, LinkedIn Learning and Pluralsight. I provided the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.